shoulder, downward facing dog once more, feet hip width distance apart. Let's take a little flow from here. So you're gonna come forward into plank pose, Extend lower down to your belly. Bhujangasana, this is your cobra pose. Push Gents. your hands into the floor, elbows in, broaden through your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale to release, Body. child's pose, balasana. Big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them to be as you Four. fold on down. Five Exhale. breaths here. Go. Might start to ask yourself what your intention is for the day ahead. I like to do this just by choosing one word. Inhale. Hold. Two second hold. Exhale. And you can start walking your hands in. We're going to come to take a seat. So you Left can just leg. swing your legs back out in front of you. And we'll find a seated pigeon pose. So I like to start this one Slowly with down. my legs extended out. Bend your right knee and bring your right ankle to the top of that left knee. And then choose how much you want to bend your left knee and bring that foot in. So the closer you have this in, the more intensely you'll feel this through your right glute and right hip. I want you to focus on keeping your chest lifted. So you're not rounding, not slouching. And you can just rock a little bit side to side if that feels good. Breathe in. Inhale. Two seconds hold. Exhale. And go ahead and straighten your left leg once more. Into a seated twist, you're going to cross and plant your right foot down on the outer edge of your thigh. You can wrap your left arm around that right leg. Really feel yourself lift up tall and then twist. Right hand can go back behind you, opening your chest to the right, sliding your shoulder blades down your back so you're not lifting your shoulders up to your ears not creating any more tension. And releasing to face forward, uncross the leg, shake it out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So this time left ankle crosses over the top of your right knee and you can bend and bring that foot in.